Welcome to Dispute Fox. In this video we will show you how to create invoices and also set up automated recurring billing. We will start by first adding a payment method on file. Navigate to the billing section. Click the Add Payment Method button to add a new payment method. Fill in the necessary details such as billing address and credit card details. Please note that for this demo, I'm using a test credit card, but in a live scenario, you should add the actual card or bank details of the client. Once completed, click on Save Settings. You can find the recently added credit card in the Payment Methods tab with an Edit option. Now, let's create an invoice by clicking on Create New Invoice. In the Processor field, select the Payment Gateway from the drop-down list that you set up earlier. For this demonstration, I'll start with the Authorize.NET Payment Gateway, configured for testing. Fill in the necessary details for the items you want to chart. There are three invoice options. First, save only, the invoice will be saved without any further action. Second, save an email client. Email will be sent to the client after saving the invoice. Third, save and charge client. This option will process the payment and automatically email the receipt to the client. Since I'm instantly charging the client in this demo, I'll select the save and charge option. Adjust these settings based on your specific requirements. Choose the billing method and click on proceed. As you can see, the transaction is successful and the status is paid. The invoice is also generated. Now, let's set up recurring billing for clients by navigating to client's billing section. Firstly, ensure that credit card information is entered in the card or bank details section if it has not been set up yet. In the billing setup, you will find two options, automated recurring billing and pay per delete. Now, let's proceed with setting up automated recurring billing. In the recurring amount field, enter the amount you wish to be charged. In the billing frequency field, we offer several options such as monthly where billing occurs once a month, bi-monthly, where billing occurs twice a month, weekly, where billing occurs every week and fortnightly, where billing occurs every 14 days. Select the billing frequency as monthly since you want to charge every month. In the recurring date field, choose the day of the month to charge, for example the 15th, then choose the billing start date, followed by the end date. Billing will automatically stop on the end date, but if you are not sure when it will end, you can leave it on the default of two years and you can manually pause or stop it at any time. Select the billing method, you can add the new billing method from the card slash bank details tab. In the processor field, choose the preferred processor like payarcauthorize.net. Ensure to select the auto charge checkbox if you would like to charge the invoice automatically. Otherwise, the system will only create the invoice without charging. The pause all billing button is to pause all billings. Ensure this is in blue, turning it to orange will pause all billing. Click on save settings to complete the recurring billing setup. You can view the invoices, payment history, payment methods and billing setup activity. Now, let's explore how to set up the paper delete option. With this option, you can generate bills based on deleted items every month. The system will automatically calculate the deletions done so far and generate an invoice on the day you have chosen. Choose the day of the month on which you would like to generate the pay per delete invoice. For example, if you choose the 25th of every month, the system will look for all dispute deletions between the 25th of the previous month and the 25th of the current month. If the system finds any deletions, an invoice will be created. If no deletions are found during this period, it won't generate any pay-per-delete invoice. This recurring process continues each month. In the Charge Options field, you have two choices, My Default Pricing and Fixed Price Per Delete. You can set the default pricing for various types of deletions in the pay-per-delete settings under the Billing section in the main settings. Once this is configured, you can opt for the My Default Pricing option. Otherwise, specify a fixed price for each deletion. You will want to leave the auto charge option you unchecked so you can review all the deletions breakdown with your client just in case you had a large amount of deletions that month and they need to split up the total into smaller payments or just need to confirm everything before you process the invoice. If the auto charge checkbox is checked, the system will automatically charge the grand total for all deletions before you can review and confirm with the client. Once done, click on save settings. Here, the next billing date is also displayed. Once the invoice is created, the next billing date gets updated accordingly. 
Setting up the recurring billing process is straightforward, isn't it?